welcome to today's thought for the day on the 21 days of prayer and fasting. This morning's uh, focus is thinking about acts of service and how when we serve others, we can connect more with God ourselves. And I wanted to start with a little bit of scripture. So in Mark chapter 9, verse 35, it says this. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, If anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. It's in our DNA as Christians to look for opportunities to serve others, uh, not out of duty, but out of love for the Father. Because when we're serving others, it helps us to connect more deeply with who he is. In fact, Jesus himself, when we look a chapter further, is written about in this way. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so as we're thinking about these 21 days of prayers and prayer and fasting, um, I was considering about what ways we can act and serve others. And I think lockdown has been a really good opportunity to do that. I think there's lots of people who have been able to serve people in their community that they may not have previously had the chance to. But if you are short of practical ideas, um, here's some suggestions. The children have just gone back to school and I think for a lot of families now, pickups and drop-offs are going to be challenging and maybe there's somebody you know that might be able to um, be served by helping to do one of those school runs or pickups. Um, maybe it's sharing what you have. I think a lot of people during lockdown have got into the whole growing your own veg thing. I know we've managed to do tomatoes and lettuce and, and semi-successful sweet corn. But actually, one of the really lovely things has been able to be able to share those things. And so we've been able to um, take a bag of tomatoes around to somebody and, and use that as a prompt for a conversation. And that might be something that you could do. Or maybe cook a meal. Lots of people are now going back to work and are having to juggle and get back into the rhythms of life. Maybe there's a family or somebody you know who would appreciate a meal being cooked for them. Or maybe it's even more practical than that. Maybe just cutting somebody's grass. Maybe you've got an elderly um, person in the community or somebody who you know has been unwell who'd really appreciate some practical help. In 1 Peter, it says this, chapter 4, verse 10. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administer administering God's grace in its various forms. You see, how we serve others will be different for everybody, but those acts of service, God has gifted us with ways to support one another. And when we do that, we connect with him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have given us all so many different gifts. And I pray that today we would find an opportunity to do an act of service for somebody else out of your love so that we connect more greatly with that love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.